I don't know if you know about the tumultuous history connected with the uh, spreading of the message and devotion. But after 20 years of, of being spread, it was stopped by authorities in Rome. And that lasted 20 years. Um, we began, as I mentioned, to spread the message and devotion hardly two and a half years after her death. One of our priests, Father Joseph Jarzembowski, escaping from the Nazis um, in Poland, the Nazis were intent on destroying all the elite of the country, professors, priests, um, poets, uh, etc. And Father Jarzembowski fit into many of these categories. And so he was in danger, so the superiors told him to take a hike to Lithuania which was not yet at that time overtaken uh, <clears throat> totally by uh, the Nazis or the uh, communists. And that's where he came in touch with uh, Sister Faustina's uh, principal mentor and confessor, Father Sopochko. And from him, Father Sopochko learned from our seminarians who were there ahead of time and learned about the message from him. Um, he was able to speak about it for the first time by his archbishop uh, when the war broke out, which was September the 1st, 1939, hardly a year from the death of Faustina on the 5th of October, 1938. She had told people that there's a big war coming on. Nobody wanted to believe her. Among them was the archbishop. He thought that her revelations were really not that. He was very kind to her, but he was not believing. But when the war broke out, he had to change his mind, and he gave Father Sopochka permission to enshrine the image of Divine Mercy revealed to her uh, in a church that was under his, under Father Sopochka's uh, rectorship. And he allowed him to tell the people where the message and uh, forms of devotion came from. And so, when Father Sopochka learned from the seminarians that there's this Marian priest um, who wants to get to the United States, um, was, was perhaps going to get there, uh, he met him and asked him to take a special memorial, meaning a treatise set up in Latin, uh, encouraging Rome, uh, giving the reasons why a feast of uh, the Divine Mercy should be established in the church according to our Lord's request through Sister Faustina. Now, a little bit of background here. Father Sopochka was originally from the Diocese of Vilnius. After the First World War, uh, that city was quote-unquote captured by the Polish marshal, and he sent to continue the soldiers so that that city, which was in the area where he was born, would be incorporated into the um, uh, confines of Poland, the borders of Poland. And that was a, a great bone of contention between the two countries later on, both Lithuania and Poland. And some of the ill feelings still persist. Um, however, um, Father, when, when Archbishop Matulaitis was uh, visiting in Poland, um, the Marians were helping Father Sopochko in caring for the military. Father Sopochko was practically the only chaplain for the Polish garrison in Warsaw. And um, they did not want to let him go from that post. And. Uh, but he was studying in Warsaw uh, in education and theology so that he could then uh, work in establishing uh, people who would be training, uh, lay people who would be training um, like in catechetics or RCIA, whatever you'd call uh, at the time. So um, Father uh, Renovator knew about him that he was from his diocese of which he was now the bishop 
And he said, why don't you think of coming back to your original diocese um, and establish these movements uh, to help educate uh, trainers in, in the religion, etc." So he says, I'll pray over it. And he did and decided he's going to go back. So it was influential that Father Renovator got Father Sapochka with all his assets of his studies, etc., to Vilnius. And then the Lord used him to be the mentor of Sister Faustina. So we have a direct connection between all these workings of God. And um, so the Marians took over the church for the military in Warsaw. And it was one of the first places in Warsaw to have an image of divine mercy in that garrison church later on. And we still have this parish. And we still have the parish. Was it the center of the Marian Helpers? Yes. Uh, in, in Poland. <clears throat> so um, it was the students of one of whom was Father Bolesław Jakimowicz, who from Lithuania was sent in exile to into the heavy works uh, in the tundra in, in uh, Siberia. He was ordained priest when, when the, the Russians came to work with the Allies. Uh, they were allowed, the Poles were allowed to leave Siberia, most of them by foot through different countries. Some ended up in India, others made their way all the way to Argentina, others to Mexico. And uh, so it was through these people that the message of divine mercy was being spread. And it was the seminarians who met Father Jarembowski in Vilnius when he arrived there and tried to convince him to meet with Father Soboska. To, uh, they said, you're trying to get to the States, so we will, uh, why don't you make a novena to the divine mercy uh, to accomplish this? He says, well, I, I don't go for accepting revelations that have not been approved by the church. So he said, well, we'll make the novena for you. Before it was over, all kinds of information came that money was being sent by the provincial and the states uh, for him to be able to get passage by railway from uh, Lithuania to Moscow, from Moscow throughout Siberia, down to um, Irkutsk, where he saw the church that the White Marians built there. And it was only one Marian priest who was allowed to be the pastor for all of Siberia for the Catholics during that oppression. And then he went to Vladivostok, and then through all kinds of problems, <clears throat> and the help of um, a, a Jewish lawyer, he was able to get passage on the ship to Japan. And from there, he was helped to get to the United States to, uh, through Seattle and then to Washington, D.C. So before Father uh, Jarzembowski left Father Spotsko, he made a vow, if I safely arrive with my confers in Washington, I will spread this message to the end of my life. And uh, Father Sapochka just says, when you get to the United States, please let this be known uh, to con ask the bishops and the Catholic universities to request uh, a feast of divine mercy. Mm -hmm. 